discuss the top headlines. Presentative Minister of Manipur is expected to be inner parliamentary candidate of BJP, says sources. Congress announces names for Lakhimpur candidate in Assam, Manipur and Mizoram in fourth list. Manipur men apprehended in Guwahati with gunshot wound, at least to have extremist links. Arvind Krejewal issues first government order from ED custody. Manipur emerged as the overall champion for Northeast Olympic. And curfew relaxation in Fall East, Western Tobal District till 10 pm, Focusing District till 8 pm. In Bishnupur District, curfew has been relaxed till 5 pm today. Hello and welcome to Elite TV English News. This is Tokchum Eliza bringing you the top stories and latest news at this hour. Now, the news in detail. In a big U turn in the BJP, the present Chief Minister of Manipur is expected to be the inner Manipur parliamentary candidate. According to highly reliable sources, at the present situation, the only candidate who is high in winnability is Chief Minister of Manipur. Yesterday, a meeting was held at the BJP headquarters in Delhi and taken the decision, the sources said. However, many questions have been arising that who will replace the chair of chief minister. On this matter, the central leaders also discussed minutely and that also decided. In the meantime, the ticket for Inner Manipur Parliamentary will be announced either today or tomorrow, the sources said. The Central Election Committee of Congress has announced the names of candidates for Assam's Lakhimpur, Manipur and Mizoram in the fourth list on March 23. In Assam, the Congress will field Uday Sankar Hazarika from the Lakhimpur Lok Sabha constituency, the party confirmed in its fourth list of candidates released on Saturday. The former BJP leader Hajarika jumped ship in December last year and will come up against Pradhan Barua of BJP in the elections. The roster includes contenders vying for positions in Assam, Andaman, Satisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Manipur, Mizoram, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu, Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, and West Bengal. Professor Angomcha Bimol Akhojam and Alfred Kangam. S. Arthur has been selected for Inner and Outer Manipur, SD respectively. While Lalbia Zama has been selected for Mizoram, SD seat. In the latest development, Guwahati police arrested an individual with a gunshot injury to his leg from a guest house situated in the Borbari locality of the city on March 23. Acting on intelligence information, a rapid operation resulted in the capture of Lanmi Sai 35 from Churachanpur, Manipur. Initial reports suggest that Sai was previously involved in a shooting incident in his hometown. It is speculated that he sought refuge in Guwahati to seek medical treatment following the attack. Responding promptly, Guwahati police transferred Sai to GM. At DMC Hutch Guwahati Medical College and Hospital for urgent medical care. Authorities are presently exploring the potential links between Say and an extremist organization, adding complexity to the ongoing investigation. 
The Maha Resumen has spearheaded a transformative initiative to fortify support systems for individuals grappling with substance abuse. Under the auspices of the Red Seal Division, the Resumen unveiled the Enhanced Penal Care Center for Drugs and Alcohol, the Addiction and Rehabilitation, situated within the Kaitel Manbi Military Colony in the heart of Chamfai Subdivision in Kangpokwi District. This endeavor realized at a cost of approximately Rupees 15 lakhs as part of Operation Sadvavna 2023-24 signifies a significant stride towards fostering holistic wellness and combating the scores of substance abuse within the community. The rehabilitation center underwent a remarkable metamorphosis characterized by the expansion of its facilities through the addition of a new room extension. The ribbon cutting ceremony graced by the steam presence of Colonel R.K. Bikram from the Indian Army marked the fruition of this endeavor. Similarly, unveiling the fortified center, Colonel Bikram emphasized the regiment's steadfast dedication to effecting tangible change at the grassroots level. The genesis of the panel care center traces back to November 20, 2022 when it was inaugurated with great fervor and optimism by Minister Nem Cha Kipgen, founded by military pensioners Pachon and Hoinu Kipgen, the center stands as the beacon of hope amidst the shadows of addiction, a testament to their selfless dedication to the welfare of the community. Reflecting on the genesis of the center, Pachon Kipgen elucidated, profoundly unsettled by the pervasive drug manic, Upon my return to our hometown following military retirement, my wife and I felt an urgent calling to address this pressing issue and make a lasting impact on our community. The expansion of the Penal Care Center signifies a paradig paradigm shift in the narrative surrounding addiction treatment, transcending mere rehabilitation to embrace a holistic approach towards healing and recovery, equipped with meticulously crafted rooms replete with modern amenities and furnishings. The center provides a nurturing environment, conducive to the arduous journey towards sobriety, instilling a sense of hope and resilience in its inhabitants. The commendable efforts of the Maha Regiment and the Red Seal Division have garnered widespread acclaim and appreciation from various civil society organizations. The Kuki in Peace Other Hills, Kuki Women Organization for Human Rights, and Kaitel Manbi Local Bodies have all pressed the upgradation as a pivotal milestone in the ongoing battle against substance abuse, underscoring its profound implications for the overall well being of the community. Caesar Hospitals and Research Institute SHRI was conferred a strong commitment to HR excellence, Mumbai on 22nd March 2024. The award was presented by Sanjay Bell, Chairman, CII National Committee on Leadership and HR and Executive Director, Grips Electric Mobility along with Indra Nikar, Principal Advisor, CII and Head CII Suresh Nyosia, Center of Excellence for Leadership. The award was accepted by Dr. Palin Kundongbum, CMD Dr. Boni Kundongbum, CEO, Gayatri Maibam, Director, HR, Gitanjali Aribam, Manager, HR, Dian Chan Potsangbam, Manager, HR, Gabriel Perozam, Deputy Manager, HR, and Sarda Hudrom, Assistant Manager, HR. CII HR Excellence Award model is based on the CII Exim Bank Excellence Award encompassing all respects of human resource management under this award model. Its application is assessed by a team of qualified assessors followed by a site visit. The distinguished jury determines the award recipients on the basis of assessment reports submitted by the assessors. The assessment team for Three comprised of Deepak Despande, Vice President HR, Tata Business Excellence Group, S. Mutu Sivan, Vice President HR, the Residency Group of Hotels, Ajay Mali, Senior Manager HR, and Monica Anand, Head Learning and Development, EKI, Energy Services Limited. Assessors play a key role in the 
C3 HR Excellence Award Model and Senior Managers from Industry are selected as assessors Gitanjali Aribam HR Manager. Seja Hospitals is a qualified assessor for C2, C2 National HR Excellence Award. She has 20 plus years of experience in HR domain and has worked in IBM India prior to joining Seja Hospitals in 2020. Following the demand of the localities, a mass anti-rabies vaccination program was conducted today at Konghampat Awang Lekai in Fall West. It was organized by Konghampat Youth Club in association with the District Veterinary Office in Fall in multifarious roles from con counter insurgency operations to humanitarian aid as the Assam Rifles commemorates its 189th raising day it's an opportune moment to reflect on its illustrious journey and the invaluable contributions it has made to the nation the, the, the genesis of the Assam Rifles traces back to the British colonial era when it was conceived as a means to maintain law and order in the northeastern regions of India. Originally known as the Kasar Levy, it underwent several transformations before being rechristened as the Assam Rifles in 1917. Over the decades, it has witnessed myriad challenges, including two world wars, the partisan of India, and numerous insurgencies. The Assam Rifle soldiers a diverse array of responsibilities ranging from safeguarding the borders to fostering civil-military relations. Its operational spectrum encompasses counter-insurgency operations, border security, disaster relief, and assistance during civil unrest. The force operates in some of the most challenging terrains, including dense jungles, treacherous mountains, and remote border areas exhibiting remarkable resilience and adaptability. The Sam Rifles has earned accolades for its selfless service to the nation, often operating in hazardous conditions with unwavering dedication, from combating insurgency in the northeast to providing humanitarian assistance during natural disasters. The force has consistently demonstrated its readiness to go above and beyond the call of duty. Its role in fostering stability and development in the region remains indispensable, earning it the respect and admiration of the people it serves. Beyond its operational duties, the Assam Rifles actively engages with local communities through various welfare initiatives, including healthcare camps, vocational training programs, and educational scholarships. These efforts not only contribute to the socio-economic development of the region, but also foster goodwill and trust between the force and the civilian population. Arvind Kejriwal, the Chief Minister of Delhi, who was arrested in relation to the Delhi Liquor Policy case, has issued his first directive to the government from the Enforcement Directorate custody, according to AAP party sources. The order pertains to the Water Ministry, for the details are expected to be revealed by Delhi Minister Atishi in a press conference at 10 a.m. today. Gezriwal was taken into custody by the Enforcement Directorate on March 21 under the anti-money laundering law subsequent to sources at his official residence in the civil lines area of Delhi. He has been remanded to Enforcement Directorate's custody till March 28 for further interrogation regarding his alleged role in the liquor scam. Despite his arrest, Kejriwal has not resigned from his position as chief minister. Party leaders have assured that he will continue to fulfill his duties as a Delhi chief minister, even if it means governing from jail as he has not been convicted yet.
Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma has accused Delhi Chief Minister Arbin Krizwal of deliberately inviting his own arrest by failing to comply with Enforcement Directorate ED summonses related to a money laundering case linked to the now defunct Delhi liquor policy. Sarma asserted that Krizwal's decision to disregard nine summonses may have been a calculated political move to garner sympathy. Speaking to reporters after a poll preparedness meeting at the state BJP headquarters, Sarma claimed that had Kreswal presented himself before the ED, earlier he would have been arrested then. The ED didn't arrest Kreswal, he invited the agency to arrest him, Sarma said. Highlighting Kreswal's repeated non-compliance with the summonses, the ED eventually arrested Kreswal on Friday after the Delhi High Court declined to grant him protection from coercive action by the Central Anti-Money Laundering Agency. In response to Kajiwal's arrest, the Armed Army Party, AAP, is gearing up to transform the protests into a nationwide movement. The India blog, which includes the AAP, states a demonstration at Sahidi Park in ITO protesting against the ED's actions. The situation escalated when the crowd estimated by police at around 500 began marching towards Din Dayal Upadhyaya, mark where both the AAP and BJP headquarters are situated. Police detained approximately 18 individuals during the events, releasing them later in the day. AAP announced plans to abstain from celebrating Holi on March 25 with party workers intending to get out the Prime Minister's residence on March 26 in protest against Kreziwal's arrest. Dosif Ali Farki, a final year student of biotechnology at the prestigious Indian Institute of Technology Guwahati, IIT Guwahati, has reportedly been detained by the Assam police after allegedly joined the terrorist group ISIS. It's clear that the incident at IIT Guwahati is particularly concerning given the recent activities in the region just days ago. The Special Task Force STF of the Assam Police managed to foil a significant terrorist plot, leading to the apprehension of two high-ranking leaders associated with ISIS in India. The individuals in question, Haris Faruqi, Elias Haris Asmal Faruqi and Anurag Singh Elias Rehan were intercepted in the Dharmasala area of Dubri after crossing the international border. Haris Faruqi, originally from Jakarta, Dehradun, is believed to be the head of ISIS in India, while his associate Anurag Singh, originally from Dewana Panipat, has converted to Islam and his wife is a Bangladeshi national. Both are described as deeply endocrine members of ISIS involved in various illegal activities including recruitment, terror funding and plotting attacks, saying that he has spoken out for Mizoram 15 times in parliament stations and have attended all but four deaths during his stay at the state for Amelie Ward County. The Rajya Sava MP stated that at the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Commerce meeting, several achievements are being met for minimum support price MSP to all palm farmers who sell less than Rs 10 per kg and the selling price have increased. He added that request to establish Mizoram Ayus Hospital come training centre in Parliament session has yielded good results in the hearts of central government officials and that his request to pay attention to the earthquake in the northwestern mountains of Mizoram and to provide compensation to the victims of the swine fever have also yielded good results. When Lalvena said that his request to Union Home Ministry for the construction of a bridge across the Kautang, Kotlang Sea north of Dlabung to connect villages along the Bangladesh border with motor roads has been successful and that CPWD has already selected the contractor for the work. He added that Bairabi Mamid Road Construction Survey is also underway and that his request for the announcement of a new national highway between Jorinpui and Longmashu has been successfully announced. He also hopes that efforts to resolve the difficulties in the construction of Pankhua to Sai Si Chua Myanmar border road will soon bear fruit.
Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma has outlined specific conditions for migrant Bangladesh origin Bang Bengali speaking Muslims known as Mia if they seek recognition as indigenous people of the state. Speaking on Saturday, Sarma emphasized that to be considered indigenous, individuals must adhere to certain cultural norms and practices of Assamese society. Sarma highlighted key requirements for recognition including limiting family size to two children, refraining from practicing polygamy, and preventing the merits of minor daughters. He underscored the importance of respecting Assamese cultural values, expressing concern over encroachments on satras, Vaishnavite monasteries, led by certain groups. The chief minister also emphasized educational priorities, urging the community to steer away from madrasas and instead focus on fields like medicine and engineering. He stressed the importance of educating daughters and granting them inheritance rights over paternal property. The move comes against the backdrop of demographic complexities in Assam, where Muslims constitute a significant portion of the population, with distinct ethnicities and migration histories. In 2002, the Assam cabinet officially recognized around 40 lakh Assamese-speaking Muslims as indigenous Assamese Muslims, distinguishing them from Bangladesh origin migrants. While Assamese-speaking indigenous Muslims comprise of about 37% of the total Muslim population, the remaining 63% consists of migrant Bengali-speaking Muslims. The cabinet's recognition includes five specific groups, Goria, Moria, Jola, only those in tea gardens, Daisy and Syed, only Assamese-speaking, Samas, conditions underscore a broader effort to integrate cultural norms and practices within the state's diverse population. By delineating criteria for indigenous recognition to the government aims to foster cohesion and preserve Assamese identity and miss demographic steps. Now let's take a short break again. Stay tuned for more updates. of success for your children. Get enrolled to one of the finest school in Northeast India, UNACO School, Excellence in Education. Gear up for the future with Quantum University. Write your success story with our new age programs that shall be amongst the top three most rewarding careers in India and across the globe in the next decade. One of the reasons why Quantum is a leading private university in India is these world-class partnerships which makes it stand out among the rest. Welcome you all to Unapa School Channel in Fall East, a fully residential school ranked Manipur number one in all India school ranking awards 2023-24 by Education World and Co-Education Boarding School category. Academic season for 2024-25 will begin on 1st April 2024. Registrations are open for classes 4 to 9. Hurry up for registration. Free OPD consultation camp Lakliba March ki tarik tara nipan degi kuntra mathoi pawbo Siza Hospitals Langol Amasung Siza Arban OPD ke sampata pangthuk jaragani. Investigation the 15%, procedures, medicine, immunization the 10%, concession su pangbigani. Akupamaro Siza Hospitals Langol Amasung Siza Arban OPD ke sampata ki kangbi bayagani. Welcome back. Now moving on to the news. With the near coming of the 18 Lok Sabha election comes the air of political confusions, commotion and corruption of morality and money in the society. The Zelarium United Front conveyed its greetings and well wishes to all intending candidates for the ensuing parliament election. A press release issued by the media cells of the front, the truly chosen leader will be elected to represent the voices of the people of the respective states who also will be responsible for assuring justice, peace and harmony for overall development of the people. 
It is pertinent to reassert and make a caution here with that this time the ensuing election must run in true spirit and in a justly manner in sincere compliance to the principle of National Union of India. No corrupt money game or manipulative politics that devalue the moral and human ethics should be entertained. All forms of election campaign related violence, crisis or disturbances from any quarter in all Jalaryong inhabited areas, in particular and the Naga areas in general, should be put to check and strict mechanism of vigilance shall be employed to see that the election is conducted in free and fair manner. All voters should be allowed to exercise his or her free will franchises without inducing or intimidation from any quarter. The repeated gunfire at election-related public meeting of the Congress party and candidate Sri Alfred K. Arthur in Ukrul district was very unfortunate and outdated nature to have occurring in a decent society. The perpetrators, most commonly known to the general society as Gang of NSNIM, are keen to such terrorizing activities. The direct involvement of Naga Revolution revolutionary groups in the Indian political election as in time passes disadvantage the Nagas and is a matter of great shame to have subscribing to Indian politics by fighting the Nagas political stand. The NSN, IM and Naga civil organization UNC have been questioned in the past and no logical understanding and refraining of its activities or game from the Indian political affairs seems to realize yet. It is a matter of great concern for the Naga people. If such antagonizing politics of interference continues, the whole Naga national political vision and struggle will soon come to a total close down. The fact will burden with desperation upon the Naga generation. The front also questions the inefficiency or inability of Indian security forces and military operating system for letting EG go free for such miscreants to create public insecurity, posing threats and fear, making unsafe society everywhere. Free and fair election is the mandate of all the citizens of India to which all must subscribe and comply to. The front reiterate its stand to hold the mandate of the people and to strive to work for common interest, welfare and harmonious coexistence of all the people of the states and nationwide. To this end, the front shall strive to exercise extra effort towards making the election scenario peaceful and conducive to fair and just election. Appeals to all right-thinking citizens to cooperate with the effort of JUF towards making a better society. More decent election and for choosing right leaders that will determine our society today for peace and prosperity and creating a better hope for the next generation, the press release edit. Today at around 7.10 a.m. conducted an extensive search operation in general areas of Nambol Oinam, Nambol Naurem and Manthaching by a CDO team Bishnupur led by P. Sanjoy Singh, MPS assistance by SIS Gisordit Singh, Haichi O. Jayanta Singh and Havildar A. Johnson Singh under the overall supervision of KHS Ravi Kumar Singh, IPS SP Manipur. Amarjit Lamabam, MPS Additional SP Ops uh, Bishnupur, during the said search at Oinam Uniform, found one cartoon box and on opening the said cartoon box, the following articles 17.65 mm pistol marked as made in USA with two magazines at numbers of HE Granite, number 36. Two numbers of Chinese hand grenades, one can good hand held set bearing number B09832245 with antenna and one medical kit, five were detected. The above mentioned armed grenades, WT set and medical kit, which were suspected to be hidden by militants, were seized at 8.45 am by observing formalities and handed over to Nambal Police Station for further necessary action. Continuing the crackdown on illegal immigration in Tripura 7, Bangladeshi, nationals were apprehended at the Agratala railway station on Saturday. 
Two individuals within the group attempted to evade detection by disguising themselves as women. The apprehension took place during routine checks conducted by government railway police, rail, railway police force special branch of the state police and border security force personnel at the Argatrala rally station, railway station in Badargat. They were intercepted just moments before boarding the Kanchenjunga Express bound for Chennai. Tapas Das, in charge at Agartala GRP station, confirmed the detainees. Bangladeshi citizenship upon interrogation. They confessed to their intention to travel to Chennai. With concerns over border control and national security, authorities remain vigilant in detecting and preventing illegal immigration activities. In a tragic turn of events, four individuals tragically lost their lives after falling into Dambur Reservoir in Dalai District, Tripura. The incident occurred during a thunderstorm that struck the state. The thunderstorm, characterized by its intensity, is believed to have played a significant role in the unfortunate accident. Though further details surrounding the incident are yet to be revealed, one body has been recovered so far while such operations persist in an attempt, attempt to locate the remaining victims. Authorities continue their efforts to recover the bodies and provide assistance. A horrific vehicle accident occurred in the U.S. state of Pensil Pennsylvania, Vanya, killing a 24-year-old Indian professional. The Indian Consulate General in New York said in a post on X on Saturday, that Arsha Josie had died in a terrible vehicle accident in Pennsylvania on March 21. The statement offered the family sincere condolences. Josie had graduated from high school the previous year. Local community leaders and Josie's family are being communicated with the, by the consulate. Upon improvement in the law and order situation in the Valley Districts, curfew has been relaxed till 10 p.m. today in Imphal East, Imphal West and Hawal Districts. In Kaxing District, curfew has been relaxed till 8 p.m. today. However, in Bisnapur District, curfew has been relaxed till 5 p.m. today. Traffic is seen as usual on the roads. Shops and markets remain open. People were seen purchasing essential items during the curfew relaxation. For Elite TV News Channel, contact to the email address info at elitetv.in or 9402890982 and subscribe to Elite TV YouTube channel or follow on Facebook page, Instagram and X for more information about the channel. And before we wind up, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Present Chief Minister of Manipur is expected to be Inner Parliamentary Candidate of BJP, their sources. Congress announces names for Lakhimpur candidate in Assam, Manipur and Mizoram in fourth list. Manipuri men apprehended in Guwahati with gunshot wound at least to have extremist links. Arvind Kejriwal issues first government order from ED custody. Manipur emerged as the overall champion for Northeast Olympic. And curfew relax in Nepal East, West and Tobal District till 10 p.m. For Kakting District till 8 p.m. In Bisnupur District, curfew has been relaxed till 5 p.m. today.
that's all for now. For more updates, keep watching 3pm Active English News. Thank you for watching.